In this video, we're walking through the viewing results in long section view topic in the InfoWorks ICM basic tutorial. And so if you, if you don't already have results open in the GeoPlan, you can go ahead and open those from the simulation that you should have run already from a previous section. And then uh, we're gonna close the locator window. That was step two. And then we wanna go ahead and zoom to the top right part of the network that includes the pump and the outfall. The outfall is right there. And this is the pump. We can keep moving in the tutorial. So we're gonna locate node 456 30095 on the northeast side of the network. It says it's to the south of the pump. So we'll go ahead and turn on some labels so we can really see um, which node we're looking for here. Oh, we're supposed to look south of the pump. So it looks like we're supposed to find this one. So, um, Select all the pipes leading to the outfall. Okay, so I can use the selection arrow to select this, and then I'm going to hold my control key to continue to select the pipes leading to the outfall. Okay. And once I've selected all of those, I'm going to open up a long section view. The new long section window looks like this. So we should have um, a long section view open. I'm going to make it a little bigger. And it should look like, um, like it shows in the tutorial. Um, so we can now set up some labels on the long section view. Um, this is a valuable feature that can help you visualize the variations of some parameters of interest as the simulation is run. So to do so, we are going to right click in the long section view and select properties. And then we want to make sure we're in the content tab and then we want to go to field settings. And so in this example, we are going to choose node. Um, because we're going to label some nodes and then we want to turn on the flood depth field. It's going to be right here. And then for conduits, so we'll click on conduit. We want upstream flow. The simulation fields are a bit lower in the list here. So we want upstream flow and then we'll go ahead and click OK and apply and OK and so you'll see the labels down here sometimes it can just be helpful um, if I made this a little bigger you'd be able to see more of the labels hold on There you go. As I widen the long section, you can see more of the information there. All right. I'm gonna bring it back to what it was. Okay. And so if I click the play button, um, as the values change in the labels, you'll see those change in the long section view as well. And that is it for this exercise.